was good. Danny Garcia knocks out Adrian Granado in the seventh round. The referee stopped it after a couple good hits. I thought it was an early stoppage at first, and then I was like, eh. He was getting beat up, and he got dropped twice in the second round, once in the fifth, and uh, I mean, as long as you're in the fight, you always have a chance to win. But Danny Garcia was just beating up on this guy since the second round where he caught him he caught him with that left hook and he dropped him and then he caught him with that right hook later on and he dropped him for the second time and after that it was all Garcia Garcia was a better fighter uh, I saw someone say that Adrian Granados was tailor-made for Danny Garcia and that was a couple days ago and I was like I thought, no, no, he, he's going to pressure him, he's going to bang the body, and he's going to make Danny Garcia uncomfortable throughout the fight. But it turned out that he was tailor-made for Garcia, and Garcia was able to make the adjustments. Granados did not smother Garcia's punches. He did not, he did not provide non-stop pressure to Danny Garcia. He was in the exact range for Garcia to land these hooks, his his money punches. And as as much as I don't like Danny Garcia, I've never said that this man can't crack or that he is not skilled. One thing that I hadn't really noticed is how patient Danny Garcia is. And I would attribute this to him not throwing punches, just him not being active, kind of like Adrian Broner, the criticism the same. And I still think that Danny Garcia could be more active. And had he been more active, perhaps he could have beaten Thurman or Porter because even though those fights were blowouts, these guys were pretty hesitant to go inside. They would go in and then come out, especially Thurman. He was, he was on his bike throughout the fight, but Porter, usually a guy that's good at smothering punches, he did smother Danny Garcia's punches, but he, he was more of a boxer in that fight, and that's because Danny Garcia could bang. I did not expect him to stop Adrian Granados. He says, Danny Garcia said, hey, I'm back. Back to what? <laughs> you, you, you've always been a top... Since, you, he, since he's entered the welterweight division, he's always been a low top five guy. I think Porter beats him just because he is so inactive. He did throw combinations at times, which very surprised me a lot. And he did throw out the jab with Granados, which surprised me as well. But sh it sh maybe it shouldn't have because of the Matisse fight. But that was just so long ago. And that, that seems like a completely different... Danny Garcia, one that wasn't complacent. Still a guy that could get outworked like he was against Herrera, his very next fight. But a guy that's very dangerous against any opponent. Maybe besides Errol Spencer, Terrence Crawford, the creme de la creme at welterweight, which I will discuss further. So a pretty solid victory. Danny Garcia said, I had to knock him out to make a statement, and I think he did. I don't think he... He, he's earned the title shot, but if it's not Spence versus Thurman or Spence versus Porter or Thurman versus Porter, if these guys aren't fighting each other, then they might as well mix it up with Danny Garcia. What do you guys think? Can Danny Garcia, can Danny Garcia um, avenge any of his losses? Hmm. Who knows? Thanks everybody for watching. Peace.